and people get pissed off. John, you're here to talk golf. Roy, yes. Roy McElroy's meditation and juggling. <laughs> yeah, I watched the press tour, uh, lads, and um, I, I thought it was good. I think he's in a good place. I'm. I'd back Rory after watching the presser. Nice. Try meditation. Would you back meditation? Um, I would back meditation, actually, yeah. yeah. It's something I need to probably integrate into my life. I've tried it so at, do I. at times. Um, do I have the Calm app. Um, so whether it's going to help my betting or not, I don't know. But uh, no, he, he, he's very happy with his body, his mind. Uh, he, he's, he, he, was, he was just relaxed in the presser. Um, did you ask him, did he get into it? Is it, is it yeah, Buddhism? Is uh, it what? Well, no, he, he said he's, he's not going to be going to Nepal. Um, I mean, if I was as rich as him, I would definitely be going to Nepal. Ah, so would I. No, it's, yeah. it's, Come on. He's not going to disappear and, and find himself. I, I, I just think it's well, more... For a few of a, weeks. And it, it's more an adjustment. <laughs> um, like, he's got Brad Faxon, uh, who won eight times on the US tour, as kind of a putting guru for him, which he needed, to be honest, after splitting him from Dave Stockton. And uh, Brad has kind of, you know, introduced him to a few uh, people. And, you know, I, I, just, I just think he, he just changed his, his kind of his life, his lifestyle a bit. I think he's getting healthier. Um, I don't know if he's as much of a gym rat, but he looks lean, uh, and I think he's playing well. And uh, I was even going through his record uh, this year: tied fourth, tied fifth, tied fourth, second, tied sixth, won the players, tied ninth. That's pretty impressive. I think he's the hottest golfer in the planet right now. And even though there might be a squiggle or a question about his fortitude uh, on a Sunday at Augusta, given it's the only major he hasn't won. Uh, we saw it last year with that miss put on two. We saw it in 2011 when he blew the four-shot lead. Uh, I think he's going to win one of these. He's been in the top ten the last five years. Uh, I just think his game is suited to the course, the way he hits the ball so high, the draw of the ball. He hits it long. He's a great driver of the ball. His irons are good. And if the putter uh, behaves and cooperates... And he was actually... It was interesting. He was asked, have your failures at Augusta been down to your swing malfunctioning or your mindset not being right? And he said, in some instances, it's because my mindset's not been right. And I do think he seems to have found, well, I don't know whether temporarily or, or not, a, a kind of a piece. And I think that... He's happy with the team around him, he's happy with his caddy, he's happy that he's a married man now, and he said that this is what is something he wants to integrate to his life for the next 20 years, not just the next two months to, to win the Masters and, and become only the sixth golfer to complete that Grand Slam. Yeah, it, it, there's been this perpetual rush that we've had to make him be compared with all the greats that came before him. So this is the last one that he can uh, do the uh, career slam before he's 30. Before this, it was like, oh, he's, you know, he, somebody else got to beat him to it. Nicholas beat him to it. Tiger beat him to it because they were younger when it happened. And it's like, he needs to stop having this sense of it's now or never because hey, he's a golfer. He could actually win this when he's 50. Mm. Like he just could still play four good rounds of golf out of nowhere when he's 50 and win the Masters because it's golf. He could do it. And he needs to like stop putting the insane short-term pressure on himself and lean into middle age. Hence, hence the meditation. I yeah, guess. hence the change in mindset, I think, over the last... Uh, he wasn't winning enough. He hasn't won a major since 14. Um, I think what you say there, Jar, is right, because Phil Mickelson's 48 and is definitely capable of winning the Masters. Nicholas is the oldest at 46, but with changing technology and healthier lifestyles and healthier golfers, uh, you are going to see uh, prolonged careers now. Um, and it's more of a media construction, I suppose, because what did, what did Tiger Woods do? He brought a huge amount of money into, sport, into golf and into sport. Huge amount of commercial money. And everybody then is addicted to, oh, who's the next Tiger? Mm. Tiger's out of the loop here now for personal reasons or for injury reasons. Well, it's got to be Rory. We've got to crown him. you got to win 10 before you're 30, Rory. If you don't, you've failed. Well, actually, it doesn't actually work that way. Sevi Ballesteros only won five majors, one of the greatest golfers in the history of the game. Phil is probably the second best golfer of this generation. He's only won five majors. So not everybody's going to be Tiger Woods or Jack Nicklaus. They were legends of the sport. Uh, Rory is, a, I think, still the best, most talented player in, in the game right now um, because Tiger's not the player he was. And um, it's just going to be a great four days. Um. Uh, there's a few names that I wanted to talk to you about before we get to Tiger Woods. Um, so, Matt Kuchar, it seems to me, is the natural successor to Patrick Reed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt was so nice. Uh, we always thought he was so nice. Um, He's 40 to 1. Matt Kuchar uh, has the game to win at Augusta. I'm not so sure if he's got the bottle to win. Um, I watched him at the Open in um, the last time I was at the Open at Birkdale, and he was down the stretch with Spieth on the Sunday, and to me, he did not have the X factor to win a major championship. To me, Matt Kuchar, just, when I hear Matt Kuchar, just whatever about the caddy, or whatever about Sergio Garcia, and uh, um, the kind of the tarnishing of his uh, 
beautifully coiffured image. Um, what I hear about when I hear Matt Kuchar's name is comfortable. Mm. I, 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 don't, I don't hear winner. I don't hear winner. No, I think you're dead right. Um, but I, I hear somebody who's like an each way shot at 40 to 1. I, an each way shot, the places, especially like there's some bookmakers who are offering 10 places. Yeah. 10 places for the Masters! Yeah. That's, what's the 10 places, how much, what's the... 50 odds. That's mad. Now, of course, yeah. the odds are short. Like some, you know, this is the this is the, the chance you the trade take. Trade off is yeah. You, you know, the trade off is you get shorter odds. So, Matsuyama twenty five for ten places with one bookmaker. With another bookmaker, it might be thirty three or thirty five to be in the top six. So, what do you get, McIlroy, in the ten places? Thirteen to two, which is not bad, given like in the last five years he's been in the top ten. Thirteen to eight, top top uh, thirteen to ten, rather top uh, top yeah, ten. So evens, a bit yeah, better than evens. That's that's definitely big. I would have thought, for despite my lack of knowledge of golf, I would have thought that was big. Who else do you want to talk about? Oh yeah, there was one other one there. Who's? Mm, let me just uh, you uh, talk amongst yourselves. Who's second seconds. favorite? Actually? Oh, Bubba, Bubba Watson. I mean, what's the story? Bubba can. Bubba could miss the cut, right? Bubba can. Bubba can. Bubba can. But Bubba's thirty threes. Bubba can. He has the game. It doesn't really matter what form he's in because he has the talent. Just he's just so talented. Let me ask a stupid, a stupid gambling question. If the bookmakers are offering 10 places, I pick 10 golfers and stick a fiver on each of them, I'm going to win. I'm going to... Well, there are 200 uh, golfers in the tournament. Or yeah, I know, but like I'm picking like not... I'm not, not all the 200 to one shots. I'm like Rory, Spieth, uh, Tommy Fleetwood, Jason Day, Phil Mickelson. I think this is like a 16 runner handicap in, in racing. Yeah, they are over broke on the place market, but they're compensating on the win. Yeah, yeah, you're, but you're you're hoping that you probably need what five or six of them to get in there. What happens if it's only two? Well, if I if some of them if yeah. so, if Sergio's forty. I'm getting yeah. a fifth of that. It's eight to one. I'm getting. Yeah. It's an interesting experiment. Mm. Yeah, it's an interesting experiment. Bookmakers do they I'll look do, into I'll this? Do it, I'll do it. On, I'll do a euro on ten golfers and see how I come out. And we'll talk about it next week. Like a lot of bookmakers now in racing, they've gone, they've changed their odds. So you could go into Paddy Power, for example, and all of a sudden you're getting a fifth of the odds, sort of five places, even though that's not actually the, the normal odds for the race. And you, it's kind of you have to actually look at the terms now because they are kind of fighting with each other for little margins. And, and it's, so, it's been also it hasn't really been communicated to the punters. Yeah, because if and you, I, I found that disappointing. Said chatting them, what's this fifth of the odds first five stuff? This yeah. always was a quarter of the first three. And yeah, exactly. Because you 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 think well, I, I'm going to get the normal rules here but that's not the case anymore you may you may lose out because it's a fifth rather than a quarter and uh, obviously with golf it's it's different but you have to know your terms before you do your bet big time big time you've got to know your terms odds checker okay so you're happy back in Rory on the basis that he's got his mindset right he's got his lifestyle right what about Tiger Woods who you know was not going to be relevant again as a golfer ever it felt like when he was having neck fusion surgery and now all of a sudden um, Tiger's on the prowl again looks relatively healthy sure there's a bit of back trouble but he's okay with it he can. Uh, is he likely to? In my mind, no. Um, I, the press conference was interesting. The most interesting line I took out of it was, I can't practice as much as I used to. That's, the back is still there. That's not good. Uh, that suggests to me that he's not, like he can do a bit of putting, he can do a bit of iron play, he can do a bit of driving. He can't do it all at the hard limit you need to be. And we talk about margins in sport, even margins in betting. At the hard limit, uh, I think he was wrecked after the Tour Championship at the Ryder Cup. And that would be my concern. He could come out and win out of nowhere, but are we going to see this consistent winning machine from Tiger Woods? I don't think so. No, I think the, pre the press conference was revelatory in that. Um, uh, you know, there won't be as much pressure on his driving in Augusta, which is not, it's not as important there. Um, so he can definitely be there or thereabouts. But uh, putting four rounds together is the question. A question I'll also have about Shane Lowry. Fred Couples has turned up at the Masters for the last 20 years. Old guy, aging beautifully like fine wine. Um, and would have a great Masters, but he's never able to do it over four rounds. Also, back injuries. Back kind injuries, there you go. Yeah, it's, um, well, that is Freddie. It's, it's, Freddie's always a good bet for first round first leader. First round leader. Each way. Um, yeah. 500, 500, 550 to one. Could be a good trade. The racing post is a free betting guide to it as well today. Um, I don't Excellent. Know if it's, is it's, it, it's actually yeah. a pullout. Steve Palmer is the guru. He's brilliant uh, golf tipster. And, yeah, they have a pullout. I was pr pleased to see the golfers I backed um, correlating with his uh, this week. So um, I just love the Masters. I don't know about you guys. I mean, uh, to me, it's 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 my childhood. It's yeah. it's watching on the Sunday night being allowed to stay up late. Miles Dungan, yeah. jumpers. Miles Dungan. Um, the days. Sandy Lyle, Nick Faldo, Ian Woosnam, Al Athabal. European golf. 
suddenly get yeah. good and, yeah. uh, and bet on like a top 20 finish as well top the US top, top 10 top, finish, top nationalities top there's so many enhanced win only there's so many markets and the dual uh, forecast just in case you want to pick the second as well yeah that's that's, 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 that's <laughs> pretty impossible to be honest you know um, so well, I, I, million to one and we'll give you four to one odds yeah I, I started getting jealous uh, when I saw the one of the journalists um, posting a photo of a, 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 a mini moon which is a wagon wheel in the States and I had the masters kind of covering over it, and I was just no, I was just going. I'm feeling this pain now that I can't, I'm not there, and that taking those home with me. Where is Augusta anyway? It's quite near Atlanta in Georgia, and actually the town isn't very, you know, it's it's not the town isn't as well manicured as the course, shall mm. we say? Um, it it's being polite, it's a shithole. By <laughs> <the way. laughs> Atlanta's an interesting place, yeah. Yeah, the, I've been to Atlanta yeah. for a college football game as early. Um, uh, and uh, Augusta, yeah, it's 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 very much their place. It's their club. You do not just because you're the president, you, do, you don't become automatically a member. Um, you're not allowed to run on the course. You be you be you be you know tapped on the shoulder if you do. Uh, you're uh, not allowed to bring your cell phone anywhere. Uh, you got to leave it behind you. Um, they have all these traditions like the butler cabin for the the winner ceremony, the the champions dinner, which Patrick Reed served villainously uh, yesterday with his uh, oh, ribeye and his uh, tiramisu. Um, the, the fact that you, they, the the announcers, the commentators, are uh, have to call the, um, the the fans patrons, not fans. You got this magnolia lane that they drive up. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of kind of quirky traditions, and uh, of course, the green jacket itself being presented to the winners. So, um, very hilly course. You don't see really that on the screen how hilly it is. Uh, like the caddies are saying, it's one of the hardest courses to walk on, uh, for physically, um, and just so many risk and reward holes. Amen corner. 11, 12, uh, we have the, the water and 13th and 15th, par fives. And uh, as the golfers were saying in the press conferences, it's one of these tournaments, because you're going there every year, you don't do that in other majors, where you just hear the roars elsewhere in the course. Yes. And then wh who is that? Where is that coming from? And oh, I'd love to be there right now. So.